Hey everyone, it's Wynabel here, and today I'm going to be looking at what is the number one invisible ink. So if you're anything like me, I was always intrigued by spies and invisible inks when I was a kid, so I thought I'd take the chance now to check out which one's best. So I'm going to split them into two groups. First I've got ones that uh, develop based on heat. So I've got lime juice, which, lemon juice is kind of the classic, but this is what I have. Um, I've got a sugar solution I'm going to use. People also use honey solutions. Milk is kind of a classic one. And I'm going to try urine because uh, all the sources say it's worked, but I haven't seen anyone try it. So next I've got the chemically developed ones. This is just baking soda, and it works on an acid-base reaction like a lot of other um, invisible inks. And then I've got a candle and a crayon, which both uh, deposit a layer of wax, which repels the water. So we'll see which one of those works better or at all. Let's start off by just mixing up the solutions. Now I'm going to use some Q-tips and hopefully spell out a secret message for you guys. So, I'll come back in a little bit, and we'll see how I did. So these haven't had time to dry yet, I just applied them. But some immediate first impression, some of them are much more immediately visible than others. Particularly the lime juice, I think because it's so acidic, it really, um kind of messes with the paper and you can see it really clearly. And I'm sure it'll dry clear, but for now we can see it. Same thing to a little lesser extent with the baking soda, but I can definitely tell that something's there. Um, urine and sugar solution are about the same because they're mostly water. And then milk was a surprise winner. I can pretty much see nothing, even with my bare eyes. So I, I like this one to start with. And then of course the candle and the crayon because they didn't actually involve any liquid. They are both pretty much unseeable now. I can see the one with the crayon a little bit more than the one with the candle, but we'll see if they work um, once they're dry. So now all of these um, have had a time to dry, and the first metric I'm going to be assessing them on is how invisible they are, how undetectable they are. So the lime juice is definitely the worst one. Maybe that's because it's old, or maybe that's because it's lime juice. So I think I'll try lemon juice if it ends up working well. Um, but yeah, kind of 0 out of 10 for being undetectable. Sugar solution, um, I can definitely see it. I'm not sure how well it'll pick up on the camera, but um, maybe it's just because I got it too wet. But there's a part where it's less detectable, but I can still see that. One that worked actually really surprisingly well is the milk one. It's almost undetectable. I kind of give that like a 9 out of 10 undetectable. And same for the urine. It's a little easier to see on the camera, but it's pretty hard to see, so maybe a 7. Baking soda, I can only see a little bit, but I can actually feel it really clearly. It feels like kind of crusty and powdery. Maybe that's like a 6 out of 10. The candle is really quite undetectable. There's kind of a little shimmer at some places, but I can't see much of it at all, so 9 out of 10. And the crayon is a little bit worse. I can see some indentations and I can definitely see some shine. But that's only at some angles, so maybe 8 out of 10. Uh, now that that now that, that steps out of the way, I'm going to try and develop them. And I'm just going to, for my heat source for these, I'm just going to be using a little torch. And I've got some chemicals to develop these uh, chemical ones. So here goes. The last ones I just got water with food color. So let's take a look at each of these now. Lime juice developed really clearly. It made a dark line against a white un unburned background. So this probably deserves some uh, revisiting. Sugar solution didn't work that well. You can see it kind of bronzed the area around it and only gave this a light color. Um, milk was okay, but uh, again, probably about the same as the sugar solution. Um, urine kind of surprisingly worked pretty well, probably better than milk and sugar. Baking soda, I actually meant to do this um, just with a, a chemical method, but it ended up working fine with um, the torch or with heat. Not fantastic, but about as well as urine, not as well as lime juice. The candle didn't work that well. You can definitely make out the letter, but it didn't repel the water that much. I don't think it deposited enough wax. And then the crayon actually worked uh, quite well. So there are some results, so let's uh, let's dig a little more deeply into some of these things. So for the second round of testing, I've made a couple of modifications, um, and I'm going to try some new stuff. So first, I diluted the lime juice quite a bit, probably 10 to 1, 
um, just to see if I could minimize that like um, the stain it makes. I also got some real lemon juice, not lime juice, um, to see if that uh, works significantly better or differently. I'm going to retry the baking soda, but this time actually do the chemical um, development. And I also got some lactose-free milk. And this one's kind of an oddball, but I think it might make a difference because they add the enzyme to the milk, um, and that breaks down the lactose into, I think, like a glucose and a galactose. So there should be maybe twice as many uh, sugar molecules. So we'll see if that makes any difference at all. So let this dry up and see what we get. Now these are all dried, I can develop them. And they're all almost invisible, uh, probably with the exception of this lemon juice, which I can see a little bit. Um, but that maybe it's just because it's more concentrated than the other ones. And I bet if I diluted it like I did the lime juice, um, then I wouldn't have any problems. So let's develop them. And now I'm using a solution of just vinegar and f uh, red food coloring to develop the baking soda one. Okay, that's not bad. Just a side note, I left the Q-tip in the uh, just the water and food coloring for about an hour. And look at this, it's completely saturated with the solution now. It's pretty neat. Just to recap, the diluted lime juice didn't give any very good resolution at all. Um, I think it was just too dilute. But the lemon juice... Um, worked quite well. Um, very good resolution. Baking soda, I wasn't sure how this was going to work, but it did. Um, I think it was stronger when there was more vinegar, but you can definitely see the the bee comes out. And then the lactose-free milk uh, didn't work as well as I thought it might. It was probably about the same as the milk. I've quickly tabulated some of these results, and I'll briefly run through them. So first off, in terms of invisibility, some particularly good uh, performers were uh, lime juice, diluted of course, um, the milk, both types were uh, quite invisible, and the candle were all very good, and the crayon was pretty close, and then for a pretty poor invisibility rating were the uh, lime juice and the sugar solution, and the lemon juice was pretty uh, poor as well. In terms of actual function, once they were developed, the lime juice and the lemon juice had by far the best, and there was some other stuff that was more or less about the same. And then all the diluted stuff, like the lime juice and the sugar solution and the candle, um, none of those worked very well. And then for total rating, um, just for a kind of simple classic one, lemon juice came out strongly. Milk and lactose-free milk were both pretty close, um, with 13 and 14. I think they're about the same, but uh, you can go ahead and use whichever one you want. And then just on its simplicity and ease of use, the crayon scored really highly. I might actually choose the crayon just because it's so easy to use. So thanks very much for watching, uh, subscribe if you like stuff like this, and I'll see you next time.